From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Dennis Rodman flew to North Korea on Monday, hoping to meet with the big guy and talk peace. You know, I'm pretty sure this is the first time in the history of the world that the words, I wonder if Dennis Rodman can talk some sense in him, have been said out loud. Recently in Iowa, a man took several upskirt shots of a woman while she shopped. The Cedar Falls Police Department was, at last report, looking for the suspect, who was seen wearing a Boston Red Sox hat and shirt. In Iowa. Well, all right, it is a little off the subject, but that guy's outfit's kind of weird, too. Blair Robertson is a psychic. He was in Canada having lunch with his mentor and fellow psychic when Alexis crashed through the front window of the restaurant where they were eating and pinned Robertson against a wall. The woman driving was not injured. Admittedly, neither of the two psychics saw it coming. Need I say more? Research indicates that exercising on an empty stomach may be the secret to weight loss. <laughs> like that's going to happen. <laughs> Times two. A fugitive was found and arrested last week after posting to Snapchat pictures of herself and her child at a Pennsylvania amusement park. Allegheny County, Pennsylvania Sheriff William Mullen says Kimberly Dolan, 19, was wanted for attempted homicide and violation of bond conditions. Upon seeing Dolan's Snapchat update taken at Kennywood Amusement Park in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania, deputies contacted police who were already stationed in the park. Dolan was arrested without incident. Okay, a note to fugitives, stay off social media! Now, on second thought, don't. You're actually making the police's job easier. President Trump announced in a recent email that his campaign will begin selling big league boxes a hand-picked bundle of exclusive and vintage official Donald J. Trump merchandise delivered to your door every month as a recurring donor. So it's kind of like Loot Crate, only it's lame. Forbes has named Sean Diddy Combs as the highest-earning celebrity of 2016-2017 with $130 million. How in the world does a celebrity make that kind of money without starring in at least one movie where he's wearing a cape and tights, huh? A Russian man who caught his wife chatting online with other men decided to log her off for good by taking an axe to her laptop. I don't think he understands the definition of computer hacking. Speaking of Russia and computers, the latest evidence shows that the Russians were able to hack the election systems of 39 U.S. states. Now, they didn't actually manipulate the votes, though, as they already knew uh, enough chaos was going to take place no matter what, regardless of whether Trump or Hillary was elected. The sadomasochistic Swingers Club in the UK has been shut down over health and safety concerns. In this case, some of them may have wanted to be punished. 32 New York City mobsters have been indicted for trafficking stolen chocolate. Uh, you know, I've never really wanted to be a gangster, but suddenly now I'm kind of wanting a piece of that action. I want a slice. A video shoot on Detroit's west side ended after police arrived and fired shots, believing they were breaking up a real armed robbery. They responded to a 911 call of a reported robbery conducted out of a black Jeep with no doors. Well, when officers arrived, they saw a man getting out of a black Jeep with no doors and running up to an Aston Martin vehicle. Said Officer Dan Donikowski, a Detroit Police Department spokesperson, the subject appeared to be armed and appeared to be robbing the Aston Martin. When officers approached, a man turned toward the cops holding what appeared to be a weapon. An officer fired three shots, but none took effect, Donikowski said. Turns out the suspects were simply shooting a video but had not notified authorities and had not obtained proper permits or a license to do so. Okay, now aside from the lesson here about using fake guns on a film shoot and not getting permission, how does a cop fire three times at somebody like that and miss all three times? Was he using a prop gun too? Just because you exercise your right to free speech doesn't mean sponsors have to pay for it. 
both Delta Airlines and Bank of America have pulled six-figure sponsorships from New York's public theater over its revamped production of Julius Caesar. In the reimagined play, Caesar is a President Trump lookalike who is ultimately stabbed to death by a group of women and minorities. A press conference was immediately convened so Kathy Griffin could deny having anything to do with it. Major League Baseball is reportedly open to start using a pitching clock in 2018. Yes! Anything to speed up the game somehow! On Sunday, in a non-binding election, Puerto Rico voted in favor of becoming the 51st state of the United States. Isn't that kind of like crowning yourself prom queen? I mean, despite the fact you were never on the ballot? Production of ABC's Bachelor in Paradise has been suspended amid allegations of misconduct. Uh, aren't all of the Bachelor and Bachelorette shows based on misconduct? A study says text messages can help lower a person's blood sugar levels. So apparently the president is doing it purely for health reasons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!